Hey, what's up, guys? It's Ryan Share here with PCDJ Dex 3.3.3. This is the latest update of Dex 3, a free update for existing Dex 3 users. Uh, a couple of changes that have taken place in this update I want to go over real quick. Uh, mainly uh, the karaoke capabilities and some of the changes to how the side list works. Um, you can stack karaoke tracks as well as regular audio tracks within the same side list. Uh, placing regular music in between karaoke tracks is kind of buffer music. So the way we're going to accomplish this is, as most probably already know, uh, proceed to one of your karaoke folders. Um, in, in my case, I've nested my karaoke folders as favorites. Um, obviously, you can use your search feature, which uh, is something I'll touch on in a minute as well as part of this update uh, that users uh, that are heavy in karaoke side of things may want to know about. Um, but first off, we're just going to add some songs, some karaoke tracks to the side list. You can do that by just dragging and dropping over to the side list or just double clicking. So I double click a karaoke track. It's going to auto detect that it is indeed a karaoke track and ask me to type in a singer's name. Put in my name. So there you go. One thing you're going to notice right away is when the decks are stopped, in previous versions, you'd get a gray screen behind the next singer's display. Now it's black um, and at full resolution. So it's not like faded out. Um, I realized that that was kind of a problem for some in the past. So we'll just add a couple more karaoke tracks here. And we'll just add one more. All right, so now we got four karaoke tracks in our list here. And as you see, it always shows your next three singers out on the display, and you can drag and drop and reorder. And as you see, it will instantly reflect your your short order changes here in the next singer's display. So what we'll do now is we'll grab a couple regular tracks. Let's take a couple tracks. It doesn't really matter what. And I'll throw them in the side list. And I'm going to drag them up and stick them in between, I'll stick two tracks in between these karaoke tracks. Now I'm showing you this because as you see on the next singer's display, this is a big change here, is that in previous updates and previous versions of Dex 3, uh, if you had a regular track in the singer's list above, or the side list, auto mix list, if you had a regular track above your karaoke tracks, it would not show your next three singers out on the display. It would uh, truncate that, it would go away, um, thinking that you're ready to mix music. Well now, if you have karaoke tracks anywhere within the side list, uh, it'll always show your next three singers, no matter where they are or how far down, how many regular tracks are possibly in between them. So that's all there is to it. Now, uh, let me show you this real quick, because this is something that, uh, you know, for, for workflow throughout the event or the night, you know, while you're hosting karaoke, uh, the easiest way to load and play songs, in my opinion, would be by using the Mix Now button. So I'm just going to click it right now. It's going to load my first track from the side list and start playing it. And as you can see, we'll pull the volume down a little bit. And as you can see, it'll remove the track from the list as it's playing it. So now, say this track is about to end or at the very end, I would click Mix Now again, see what happens. It's going to play that, that audio track that I had in between the karaoke tracks. And the great thing, if you notice here, if you notice it, and I'll pull down the volume so you can actually hear me, is that it removes the tracks as it goes through the list. So I hit Mix Now. It mixed over to the audio track that was after the karaoke track and then loaded the next karaoke track in the side list, in the singers list slash auto mix list. So I'm just going to do this so you can see it. There's a regular track now. So now I'm going to hit mix now again. Let's bring up our volume so you can actually hear this. So I had two tracks, two regular tracks. It's playing my second track. Now I don't have to hit mix now. Um, if you've got like a few regular tracks in between your singers, you can always just engage auto, which will play through automatically. 
and then just disengage it when you're ready to go back to playing karaoke tracks by clicking auto again. So now, you know, we're played our two regular tracks in between our singers. So I want to go back to doing karaoke. Once again, just click mix now because it's already preloaded the next song from the side list, which happens to be this Garth Brooks song. So your next singer's song is already up there ready to go. So we're just going to click mix now again. It'll fade over to that opposite deck and start playing. And as you saw, as soon as it gets over to the opposite deck all the way over, it loads the next track from the side list, singer's list, auto mix list, into deck two here. That's it. So say this song is over. We'll just hit mix now again. Going to go over and play the other track. And load my next karaoke track. And like so, I mean, really all you're doing all night long is triggering Mix Now to load and play the next track from the side list. So I think that's really a handy way of doing things. And obviously with the new capability of being able to interject regular tracks in between singers and still show your next three singers on the next display, it's a nice little update in Dex 3.3.3. Now there's one other feature I want to touch on, um, and I'll just show you this real quick too. Um, your key stepper, um, depending on what um, skin you're using in this particular skin to adjust key, there's two things you need to do. First, you need to make sure in options in Dex3 that you've got high quality time stretching enabled. If high quality time stretching is not enabled, you will not be able to use the key stepper. So the first thing you got to do is go into preferences and enable high quality time stretching. And now you can use the key stepper buttons to take key steps. And I've got it configured right now where it's taking half semitone steps for the key stepper. In options under the general tab, down here on the right side, the second to the last option on the right hand side of the general tab, you have a key stepper slider. All the way to the left is full semitone, middle half semitone, half steps, and quarter semitone steps. So whatever you leave that at, it'll keep that setting until you change it. So one other thing, so that's pretty self-explanatory, load the song, you can adjust key on the fly. The one other thing uh, that we've added, um, for those that use karaoke tracks, obviously with karaoke files, the standard is using file names, not tags. So I say standard very loosely because there's like 20 different ways karaoke jocks like to label their files or the people that sell the music online. So sometimes you end up with tracks that have zero spaces within them at, at all. You know, it's, uh, let's say, disk ID hyphen artist hyphen title, but between those hyphens or before and after, there, uh, there are no spaces. You know, it's just all crunched together. So we added a feature uh, for search in the middle of words, which is the, now the last option under the general tab. When that is enabled, when you do a search on karaoke tracks, it'll search within the middle as well. Even if all that uh, data is crammed together with zero spaces, it should find your tracks always. Uh, and I know that is the case for a lot of users. They do have tracks with zero spaces within the file name, and this will be very handy for those individuals. Uh, so that's it. Just a quick overview of some of the new karaoke capabilities in Dex 3.3.3 and how the new side list works. And a tip in using Mix Now to kind of play through your side lists um, singers list throughout the event. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Thanks.